And new at six, in the last two weeks, the city of Dublin has seen two murders. Now neighbors, law enforcement and city officials are looking for ways to stop the violence from spreading. Our Ensley Nichols shows us why this afternoon people marched through the streets of Dublin. Ministers, law enforcement, community members and families walking for a purpose to shed light on violence in Dublin. The gang members are our sons, our daughters, our nephews and uncles. We call the crime, we call the As I stand before you and speak, my nephew is in jail right now for one of the homicides that, that took place in Lawrence County. Organizer Charles Sumlin leads the march down city streets, hoping people living nearby hear their chants. So we're here today to sign the alarm, let them know that we got to do something different. We got to, we got to take this thing serious. We, we don't want this problem to actually contaminate the entire community. Within the past several years, people living around Dublin say they have noticed an increase in violence. We had a lot of killing. We had a lot of shooting up houses. We, we just having a lot of terrorists going on. So they walk in hope of bringing it out of their neighborhoods. I don't believe the young men want to do that. I think they got a problem. We need to talk to them and find out what they need and what can we do to help them. Others have seen an influx in murder cases roll through courtrooms. As a judge and as, as a member of the legal system, I do a lot of criminal justice work and we're seeing that young people are getting involved in gangs at earlier ages. So they march to find solutions. Uh, there are better ways to uh, get these individuals involved in our community rather than turn to turn into lies of crime and violence. Let nobody. Right now, we need this change. Uh, we can't ignore the fact that these kids are dying daily. Showing, Showing the faces, faces of lives lost to leave a lasting impression that hopefully makes a difference. The person may have been carrying your son, but then you out here, you understand, to make sure you don't carry nobody else's son. In Dublin, Inza Nichols. 13 WMAZ News. Organizer, organizer Charles Sublin says he is working to plan more events like this march that will bring awareness to community violence.